Hey, uh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another week of Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Openings. A little Tin Sanity, a little Booster Pack fun, and of course, just a little talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. I'm your host, as you know, Flooding Mon. Hey, Mon, 14. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're here with another, uh, special for the week, and, uh, Yep, we're just gonna start. <clears throat> we're gonna start opening some uh, cards. So uh, yeah, I'll try to close these blinds real quick. It's kind of messing with the light, but eh, what can I really do? Not much. So, also gotta kill the fan as much as I don't want to, but it kind of helps. So a few of the lighting things I've learned myself. I, I could probably watch a YouTube video on better lighting, but. Eh. Who's got the time, right? <laughs> like, who's got the time? I sure don't. Anyway, uh, we're back here with the... Uh, I think t right now I'll go ahead and do the special for you guys. This is what we got left of the booster box, Shining Victories. And so far, so good. On the two-pack a week special, we're down to one, two, three, four. Down to 16 packs on that, so... Yeah, another eight weeks, and... Uh, Shining Victories will be all done, guys. So, I'm excited about that. <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to have this done for a while, but... <clears throat> uh, anyway, the date is uh, June 20th. It's just after Father's Day, uh, 2016. And I'm going to randomly pick here a... Uh, yeah, here's that booster box of uh, Secret Eternity I was talking about for you guys. And yeah, I, I kind of had already snuck into it and opened a few, but, you know, there it is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick out one of those that randomly here. There we go, I'll choose the middle one. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to do, as I said, for the weekly special, one of those, and eh, we'll do two of these shiny victories. I mean, yeah, 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 this one and this one. There we go. And that'll be the for the specials this week. So there we go. Well, yeah. I'm actually going to calm down and get a swig of water real quick. Hey, Flood has got to have his water Pokemon, his water cards, and his water. <laughs> because, hey guys, I know you're in a hurry to see cards, but it is summer. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. <sighs> And it is. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it's hot today. It's actually a very nice day today. Um, it's kind of a, a mild 88. Yeah, no humidity, so that's nice. The breeze feels nice, so. Anyway. Mmm. 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 But yeah, anyway, this card wall is almost full over here, guys, so. Yeah, won't be long. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the Secrets of Eternity pack here. There we go. Wish me luck, guys. Let's see, and for the first pack, we have our Packly Week specials. Packly Week. <laughs> wow, Josh. Mispronounced for the boss. If you don't mean weekly pack. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, my hands are a little kind of clammy. <laughs> complain, complain, complain. Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Sorry about the way, guys and girls. And for our first pack, we've got... Let's see. Arr, come out of there, you. It just won't come out. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> we have a... What's this? Ah, I could go, go golem. I'm just going to try to get the light out of the video. Ah, oh, there we go. I think that's better, probably. Yeah, go, 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 go. Okay. We've got, uh, what else? Super Heavy Samurai Soul Beads. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty common card to get in this set. Raid Raptor, Rise Falcon. Good card. A uh, Yuna Zombie. <laughs> Look at those, man. Bros. Bros. Brofessors. I'll read the stats on this one. Dark type. Three stars. It's a zombie that's also a tuner, so there you go. There you go, man. 
You can target one face-up monster on the field and discard one guard. And if you do, increase that target's level by one. Okay. You can target one face-up monster on the field. Monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn except zombie-type monsters. Huh, interesting. Also, send one zombie-type monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, increase that target's level by one. Huh, oh, interesting. You can only use the effect of Uni Zombie once per turn. I believe I like the second effect more, and then again, it kind of just depends on what type of deck and style you prefer. Uh, the type of zombie style I prefer is what I like to call Reborn Zombie. So the second effect's perfect. Because that way I can send, like, Vampire Lord and some other technical zombies and get that going. So that's a pretty good card. Definitely going to have to throw that in my zombie deck. And for our rare, we got a... Ooh, good card. Tenacity of the Monarchs. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'll read the effect. Reveal one monster in your hand with 2,400 attack and 1,000 defense. Eh, standard for a Monarch. Or 2,800 attack and... 1,000 defense, a.k.a. Mobius. <laughs> then, once you've revealed that, add one Monarch, Spelt, or Trap card from your deck to your hand. Wow, that's good. Except for Tenacity of the Monarchs. And this card's so good, yeah, you can only activate once, one once per turn, so. <laughs> there you go. And next we got a Recolate. I can relate. I can Recolate. Oh, snap. And standard, Laser Accelerator Reload. Pretty common card in this set, I must say. And a do do, -do witch And we got Illusion Balloons. There you go. Alright, so that's it for the Secrets of Eternity. Yeah, pretty good pack, if I say so myself. Alright, and now on to the Shining Victories, guys. Will we get that, uh, that awesome Blue Eyes new card? I don't know. I think we've been overall getting some really good pulls out of these, though, so I don't really mind what we get. Eh. I wouldn't mind nine common cards out of this set, honestly. <laughs> like, like some of the pulls we've been getting are that good, you know. Common cards, but they're really good. Which I like that. I like playable. Playability. That's what I like. And some cards. So. Yeah, to each their own. I could talk about the debate versus playability versus collectability all day, but eh, I don't want to bore you guys too much. So. We have a Raid Raptor. Pain. Lotus. No pain. I think I already made that joke. <laughs> Deskbot Base. Deskbot Base. <laughs> Forge of the True Dracos. And this is what I always like about a booster box. Like... Okay, because I've op opened some before, you know, in the past just by myself, and there's always a theme. Like, you notice that each pack kind of has a theme, and, well, by the time you get about halfway through a booster box, at least for me, you'll, no you'll start to notice the really, like, commonplace cards, like the standard, the uh, vanilla, if you will. Uh, because, and that's the way they design Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. So there's, like, there's always one, about three cards that come, eh, you know, at least you'll get two once every three packs. You know what I mean? Common cards. And the, uh, the, these two, yeah, Despot and Forge of the True Dracos are definitely up that alley, so. Eh, but not that I mind. It's actually a pretty good, uh, you know, <laughs> a pretty good, uh, standard card, if you will. And for the rare, we got, ooh. Ooh, Cool. Performer Pal, Odd Eyes, Light Phoenix. Wow, this is actually a really good card. Yeah, it's only a basic rare, but I'll read it. Light Attribute, Wing Beast, Pendulum, Effect, 2,000 Attack Points, 1,000 Defense Points. The Effect, during either player's turn, you can contribute this card. Then target one Performer Pal monster you control. It gains a 1,000 attack until the end of the turn. That's a good effect. And the Pendulum Effect. <clears throat> when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack while you have a card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy the card in your other Pendulum Zone. Ah, and if you do, special summon this card. So that's nice. It can basically, like, fly out of the Pendulum Zone and, you know, 
come in an awesome sea of phoenix flames to defend you from a warm turn kill. That's actually a really good effect, the pendulum. Eh, well, really both effects are really good. It just depends on if you're attacking or defending. It can kind of do both. I like that. Very playable. Uh, you see what I got? You see what I mean, guys? You see what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? Playability. This card is very versatile. Playability, man. I like it. Oh, whoa, man. And look at that. We finally got an Ultra, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Wow. That is an ultra, ultra rare, folks. Out of Shining Victories. Ultra. Dragon. Spirits of White. Woo! Man, look at that thing. Gotta show that one off. That is... Ooh, boy, did we get lucky with that. Ooh, that's our first Ultra out of here, guys. And boy... Well, actually, it's not our first Ultra, but... It's been the first Ultra we've had in a few weeks, so... Man, that is beautiful. Ooh, that's a good feeling. It's always a good feeling, guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. You who you who collect and buy cards like I do, it's always a good feeling when you pull an Ultra, man. Ooh, sorry, I gotta calm down a minute. Okay, Dragon Spirit of White. Yeah, light attribute, eight stars, man. Dragon type, two thousand five hundred attack, two thousand defense. <laughs> yeah, man. Dragon effect card. Uh, it says this card is always treated as a blue eyes card, which is very important to keep in mind. And let me read the effect. This card is treated as a normal monster while in the hand or the graveyard. Ah. Okay. When this card is normal or special summoned, okay, to the field, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls and banish it. That is good. That is really good. Okay. During either player's turn, wow, if you <laughs> if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card and special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. <laughs> wow, man. This is a really good card. Really good. Um the part I like about it the most is definitely that you banish one spell or trap. You don't, you know, you know. Most most players expect their cards to be sent to the graveyard, and then yeah, yeah, you maybe got a way to recycle one or two, but yeah, you banish their spells and traps, and you can do that each time it's summoned. So wow, that is, whew, man, it's amazing. It's an amazing card. It's a great feeling, guys. It really is. It really is. Oh, but we got to move on. Wow, Raid Raptor, Avenge Vulture. All right. <laughs> Bug Matrix. Wow. Woo! Man, it's a good feeling. And we have a... Oh, this is a new support card. Protector with Eyes of Blue. We do not have this card yet, so... Allow me to read. It's a light attribute. Uh, one star, 800 attack, 1300 defense. This is Spellcaster, which... Eh, I kind of like that, how they're throwing in Spellcaster support for technical blue eyes. But, anyway... When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level one light tuner monster from your hand. Ah, wow, okay. You can target one effect monster you control, okay, send it to the graveyard, okay, and if you do, special summon one blue eyes monster from your hand. Whoa, wow. Huh, and you can only use the effect of protector with eyes of blue once per turn. So basically this... Yeah, this with its own effect, because remember, this card is technically treated as a blue eyes card. So yeah, you could use this card's effect, protector with the eyes, to special summon this. <laughs> and that is, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. That's pretty good effect, so. Next card, we have an Amorphe Draft, which we already have, but it's still good. We almost have all the Amorphage cards. And that's it for that first pack. Wow. Great pack. Uh, whew, definitely going to set some of these aside for the money shot. Whew, man. All right. <laughs> it's a great way to start the week, huh, guys? <laughs> yeah, you telling me. <laughs> whew. Great way to start the week. I am grateful. I am blessed. All right, next pack for you guys. Here we go.
go ahead and open it up. Can we get two ultras in one day? Can we get two ultras in one day? Will Flood and Monfield Routine ever finish this video? What time is it? And will Piccolo defeat Frieza? Find out next time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Me and my announcer impersonations. Rise to full height. Okay. Black Winged Decay. The Eel Wind. Ooh, man, that card looks awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to read it, but I imagine it does something very good. Very good. Digital Bug Scar Radiator. Scar Radiator. <laughs> oh, awesome, and we have a Luna Light Fusion. Luna Light Cat Dancer. Um, do we have this one yet? You know, I don't think we do. Uh, but that's another Luna Light for us, guys. Let me read the effect on this. It's a level 7 fusion, dark. Ah, and this is just any two Luna Lights, so that's good. That's very flexible. I like that. Beast Warrior fusion effect. Okay. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Once per turn, during your main phase 1, you contribute one other Luna Light monster. Mm, for the rest of the turn, the first time each monster your opponent controls would be destroyed by battle. It's not destroyed. Also, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls twice each. If this card declares an attack, inflict 100 points of damage to your opponent. That is nasty. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Man, that's a good card. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm starting to like the... Uh, Mm. the uh, theme, the overall theme of the Luna Lights. And we almost have all of them out of the set, believe it or not. We're just missing a couple of the really good ones, you know. But we'll get them. And, of course, we're missing, like, the field card, too, I think. So, anyway. Next card. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> you got to be kidding, bro. Like, oh, my God. This is one of the luckiest weeks I've ever had. Woof. Well, guys, this is the archetype of the Amorphages. This is what the Amorphage card series is all about. Behold, the Ritual Monster, Amorphactor Pain, the Imagination, Dracova Lord. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Had to do a little evil laugh since I... You know, got the ultimate Amorphage. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Wow. Wow. Plus we get... First we get... Dragon... Dra Dragon Spirit of White out of the first pack this week. And now we get this one. Whew. Man. It's been a good week, guys. Alright. Back to business. Let me read the effect. It's a ritual monster. Earth type. Eight stars. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight stars. <coughs> 2950 attack. Uh, it's just a little short of blue eyes, but hey, he's still cool, man. No pain. Accept pain. Learn pain. <laughs> oh, me and my Naruto and pain quotes. For all of you who don't know, yeah, Naruto, I haven't actually watched the TV show with pain in there, but I have seen, I've played the video games. Ninja Storm 2, 3, and 4 on Xbox 360, so. Wait, have I played 4? No, I haven't played 4. But I played two and three. Pain's in two, so anyway. All those pain quotes are from that, so sorry about that. Back to business. Twenty nine fifty attack, two thousand five hundred defense. Dragon ritual effect. Um slash awesome. Yeah, yeah, they they forgot to put that on there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you can ritual summon this card with Amorphos Persona. If this card is Ritual Summon, <laughs> wow, your opponent skips their next main phase one. That is awesome. Wow. Also, negate the effects. A face up. Now, this is why I love Amorphages, guys. Superiorly anti meta. And here, I mean, that alone, skipping their main phase one, yeah, that's pretty OP. But check out this, these other effects. <clears throat> Whew. I love it. I love it. I love it. Negate the effects of all face-up fusion, synchro, and exceed monsters while they are on the field. Love it. Super supremely 
anti meta I've been waiting for a car like this for a while, so. Because uh, the current meta, and I'll be honest, it kind of sickens me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, anyway. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Dracover Lord monster from your deck to your hand. Except for a Mac a more factor pain. The imagination, Dracova Lord. So there you go guys. Whew, man, that is a good feeling. Pulling that pulling that boss sauce. So there we go. Whew, gotta calm down now. Alright, we have a Dynamus Spinos. Actually a really good card, uh for a common. It is it really is good. Kinda helps bring the Dynamus deck all together. So And we have a Wonder Exceed. And I'll read this. Immediately after this effect resolves, exceed one exceed monster using monsters you control as materials. So that's actually really good. It's sort of a it's sort of like trap fusion or a trap synchro. You know. Very playable. And we have an amorphage. <laughs> and yes, we have a Ryu Okami. Now I didn't talk about this in the first video I pulled this, but this is actually a new type of monster, Hrym type, W-Y-R-M, definitely a new type of monster, uh, it's, so far this is the only type that I've seen, but it's definitely kind of a new kind of thing going on, just to let you guys know, uh, I think they'll probably expand it, eh, not in the next, you know, pack, but perhaps, eh, perhaps the, the first of the fall, when, you know, some of the new seasons will come out, eh, perhaps they'll expand the, uh, Hrym type, so, but that's what I'm going to keep calling it, Hrym, so, anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me, and I'm going to get in here for the little money shot, so, <laughs> and that was our two pack a week special of Shining Victories, and, uh, we're doing one pack a week of, uh, Secrets of Eternity, so there we go, and that's what we pulled, guys, we pulled this and some more, some awesome cards, man, <laughs> <laughs> wow, me and my Jim, Jim, Gene Simmons kind of... <laughs> oh man, but that was fun. That was fun. Let's review. Awesome. Performer Pal, Odd Eyes, Light Phoenix. Really good. Versatile. Protector with the Eyes of Blue. Very good card. Very good. And the Ultra Dragon Spirit of White. <laughs> and I accidentally dropped him, but... Here it is, guys. The Amor Factor Pain. <laughs> the Anti Meta Overlord. No, I'm sorry. The Imagination. The Imagination. Draco, my lord. Awesome. Whew. Wow. Well, we are very blessed, guys. Whew. But I was glad I was able to do that for you guys. Uh, pull, because that's always been one of my. Uh, you know, you have several goals as a YouTuber. And, uh, yeah, pulling, you know, two two of the best, that's probably two of the, uh, I wouldn't say two of the best cards in the set, but they're up there, you know, they're up there, they're probably in the top ten. Yeah, yeah, you pull two cards out of the top ten from the set, from the booster box in the same video, yeah, it's a pretty good video, I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie, so. Good job, guys. Man. Today, this week is going to be very fun. Uh, just to let you guys know, on a final note before I let you go, had an awesome Father's Day yesterday. Uh, you know, just got to, I, and I'm very lucky uh, that, uh, uh, hmm, I did kind of want to mention that, but I'm very lucky that A, my father's above ground, you know, still alive, <laughs> whoops, and that B, uh, that B, he, uh, you know, that he was a good father. He, you know, took care of us, supported us, uh, you know, cared for us. Uh, I mean, those two things alone, and not to mention, you guys know I'm black, right? Alright, I'm done. I'm just saying the odds of a black father sticking around, well, I don't have to tell you guys. I mean, it's sad, but it's obvious. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not a father. Um, but... Yeah, I I had many friends in school who um, I have great empathy for uh, um, because 
I would talk to them sometimes and realize that hey, yeah, they didn't always weren't as lucky as me, uh, as blessed as you know, fortunate, and call it what you will. But you know, some and, and don't get me wrong, some of those people, eh, it kind of didn't matter to them. They kind of rose above it and turned out great and wound up doing wound up going to do great things. But and there was a couple of kids up there, you know, who were fatherless or temporary temporarily fatherless drama constant relationship drama <laughs> boy it is uh you know but my parents never did that they never went through any relationship drama uh you know uh while we were growing up as kids i mean all of us and they raised they raised <laughs> they basically wound up raising not only us five kids they wound up taking on a couple extra and you know getting involved in church and home groups and some other stuff and yeah I mean my mom used to babysit this house used to be the same house that I'm in right now used to be full of kids and screaming and yelling and I loved it I, I loved every minute of it um, and we were very blessed to be able to you know help others occasionally so uh, yeah happy Father's Day to any fathers who happen to be watching this but uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, that's pretty much it for the cards on this video and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have fun trying some of these cards out and some duels this week. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, it's just two packs of these, one pack of this, man. Hey, good luck. Good luck to you guys. I hope you go out and eh, perhaps consider buying eh, maybe one or two of the Shining Victories. Eh, maybe we'll get some awesome pulls like we did. Maybe not. Eh? Maybe we we'll get some even better. Eh? But, uh,. Yeah, I will see you all in the next video, uh, and I'll probably save the next video for tomorrow. So, uh, you all have a great day and a great week, and, uh, yeah, love y'all. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned, and I will see you all probably tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Floodmon 14 and we are washing away. Oh, you wash me away. You wash me away. Oh, no, you wash away my fears. Washing away, I was having a bad week at work. And I had a girl I knew. Yeah, uh, 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 I had a bad day at work, and I come home to this girl, and guess what she say? I gotta go away. Ow! More trouble than I ever deserved. I work hard, I bring home food, and whatever I earn. I earn me a humbling, but that's okay, because guess what? I'm gonna let it all Wash away, yeah, 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 wash away, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 wash away. That was a completely freestyle song, guys. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>